lashes come in a case like this and I'm sorry I took them out of it uh, just to place them on a jar that I'm going to show you real quick as well so there this is very handy if you don't have something like this already to you know move, transport your brushes and it has the little wing here to protect them so they don't get all messy and you know so that is very good it folds very nicely and the material looks fine it's not leather or anything but it's not heavy at all so it's great for traveling and uh, it looks like this when packed so it's quite small and it's very handy for traveling as I said now I'm going to show you the brushes and this is how my little container looks I put them in one nice container all of them because I don't want them mixed with my Sigma brushes I'm you know I have Sigma brushes in one side I have matte brushes in the other side and then I have those I don't believe, and I'm sorry for what I'm going to say, I don't believe they deserve their own pot. Yeah. So you guys let me know if I am crazy or what. But those four to me look very the same. Very the same. Very like the same. And they included those four. So to me, those are called fillers, and I don't need that many, especially not on the tiny side. And uh, one of the worst that I can really show you guys is this one. This is supposed to be a liner brush. And as you can tell, there's no tip to it. It's quite flat. It's not good enough to do a good detailed liner. So I would definitely throw this in the garbage. This is just not good enough to do your liner. If I could show you the difference between the one I use it's quite big this is my thinner one this is compared to uh, an angle brush that I have so as you can tell um, well this is a total loss of money so aside of the small brushes they include these also other four and uh, I, I believe some of them they categorize as blending brushes but as you can tell they are pretty much shader brushes, so this is probably one of the biggest uh, that they have, or the bigger one. And then the rest of them is just medium to small shader brushes. So another four um, on the medium side, that makes eight brushes in one set. They also included this uh, little one. It They call it a flat shader brush. I would say you can use it. Uh, probably as a blending brush because it's soft enough and you could use it as blending um, so this is a particular one so they have included also this um, angle brush which is handy and then this other one here that looks to me also as a small shader brush um, they say it is a small blending brush which to me it's not the case because it's too uh, stiff and doesn't have enough density to be a blending brush um, but you can judge yourselves they have also included a sponge that I really never use uh, but if you guys like to use this it comes with a one that's uh, with the, as the size of the brush and then it comes a small detail brush they have also included an eyebrow brush and comb and then a spool that is always good for your eyebrows and your lashes. So those two are quite handy tools. Last in the eyes uh, line, they included a small angle brush that you can use for your liner or for your eyebrows. And this looks to me as a dual fiber. So this one I have been using and I think it's, it's good. Moving up to the face, they include a blush brush and a, oh, and a powder brush. Um, I would say they are not very, um, they're not very soft in, in, if you were to compare with, with a Sigma brush and probably they are a little bit, they're probably they are a little bit bigger. Um, so if I were to compare with a Sigma brush, this is the powder brush here and this is the, um, the Shiny Cosmetics. This is probably a little bit bigger than Sigma. 
And if I were to compare the blush brush, this is my blush brush from Sigma and this is the one from Shani Cosmetics. So as you can tell, it's quite big. I, I think you can use it for blush, but definitely it wouldn't be a good brush for contour. They have also included an angle brush, which is to me a little bit skinny. Um, if I were to compare it with a Sigma, if I were to compare it with Sigma, you can tell the difference, difference between the two. Um, so the Shani Cosmetics is a little bit more what I would call skinny than this one. Then last but not least, they have included two fan brush. This one it's quite big. And then the other one, it's a small one. So those are handy tools all the time. And those are those can be really pricey if you were to buy them at Sephora or at MAC. So, and it, this one, as you can see, if I open it up, it's quite big. So this is good. I think out of the whole set, this is my favorite. And it looks to me that it's complete natural goat hair. So that's a good thing. And it's quite soft. So I would say that this is my favorite one from the whole set. The brushes, I really don't recommend them. Uh, it's really just, you know, giving away your money. They are not as good as a professional, near any professional brush. And so if you really want, and this is my very personal opinion, and I get I'm going to be bombarded for this. If you really want good brushes, you need to, you know, spend some money and just save some pennies and buy something that's worth the money. So don't go for the, um, so that's my hottest opinion and I will give them uh, 40 brushes. If I were to rate them, I will give them probably a five or four. Mm -mm, I wouldn't buy them. I mean, actually if I could return them, I would, period. So thank you everybody. I hope this was helpful. And if you guys have any questions or would like to uh, purchase this, just get into the link that I'm going to leave on the information box. Until next time, have a great day. Bye.